The release of the Optimus Gen 3.5, the dream of a humanoid assistant that can adapt to a household or workplace within days, has taken a dramatic leap forward. What sets this generation apart is not simply the mechanical design or the battery efficiency, but the extraordinary way in which it learns and adapts during the very first 72 hours after its delivery. Owners are discovering that their new companion can learn hundreds of tasks almost immediately, reshaping the relationship between robot and human in real time. So what can Tesla Optimus handle in the first three days? Stay with me in just 30 seconds. You'll see footage Tesla never released. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. The story begins with a comparison. Previous generations of Optimus, such as the early prototypes and the more stable Gen 2, already impressed users with their balance, dexterity, and pre-programmed set of household actions. Gen 2 could clean surfaces, carry packages, and perform repetitive motions with remarkable accuracy. But its adaptability was limited. To learn new tasks, additional programming or cloud updates were often required, pushed by Tesla's engineers. In practice, this made the robot highly capable in structured environments, but somewhat rigid when confronted with the unpredictability of human households or workplaces. Boston Dynamics Atlas or Agility Robotics Digit had similar limitations, excelling in mobility, but struggling with fluid adaptation to novel instructions. Optimus Gen 3.5, however, transcends this bottleneck with a system that mimics the way humans acquire skills in early childhood. Observation, imitation, and iterative optimization. When a new Gen 3.5 unit is delivered to a customer, its first three days are not merely operational, they are developmental. During this window, the robot is directly linked to Tesla's Dojo supercomputer network, a training platform that processes exabytes of multimodal data. Dojo is not only responsible for powering Tesla's full self-driving neural nets, but also supports the Optimus architecture. The robot arrives with a generalist foundation model trained on millions of recorded scenarios, from folding laundry to navigating crowded hallways. Yet the breakthrough lies in how this foundation rapidly personalizes itself. In the first 72 hours, Optimus collects terabytes of visual and tactile data from the owner's home, analyzing the unique layouts, tools, and interaction patterns. Through edge-level inference and dojo-assisted cloud reinforcement, the robot compresses what might normally take weeks of fine-tuning into just a handful of days. The efficiency of this process can be quantified. According to Tesla's internal benchmarks, a single Tesla Optimus can achieve over 90% task success rates on 200 household activities by the end of its third day in a new environment. For comparison, most industrial robots, even those costing upwards of $80,000, require specialized engineers and weeks of manual calibration to approach that level of versatility. The numbers are staggering. In controlled trials, Optimus reduced adaptation time by a factor of 15 compared to legacy humanoid systems. One study recorded that by the 48-hour mark, a newly deployed unit could reliably execute 150 unique commands from setting tables to assisting elderly users with mobility support. By hour 72, that number exceeded 300, effectively covering the vast majority of daily household needs. How does Optimus achieve this insane ability? The core mechanism is its tri-layered learning model. At the base level, pre-programmed motor primitives enable the robot to move its limbs with human-like smoothness. Each joint carries microactuators capable of sub-millimeter precision, operating at frequencies up to 1,000 Hz. On top of this foundation lies a self-supervised vision language model, allowing Optimus to map verbal commands and observed demonstrations into actionable representations. If an owner demonstrates how to slice vegetables or load a dishwasher, Optimus not only mirrors the physical actions, but also tags the contextual meaning behind them. Finally, Reinforcement optimization closes the loop. Every action is evaluated against success criteria. These feedback loops feed directly into the dojo servers, where the data from thousands of households converge, ensuring that every Optimus improves the collective intelligence of the fleet. The impact of this distributed learning system cannot be overstated. It is reminiscent of Tesla's approach with self-driving vehicles. Each car on the road functions as both product and data collector, streaming edge cases, back, into the central training engine. For Optimus, the household becomes the laboratory. If one robot in Tokyo struggles to fold a non-standard futon blanket, 
the experience enriches the data set for a robot in Berlin tasked with similar betting. Within weeks, the entire fleet collectively knows how to handle the task. Yet for the individual owner, the learning curve is nearly instantaneous. What seems like a personal robot mastering unique chores in three days is actually the power of a global swarm intelligence converging in real time. Financial implications also enter the picture. Tesla has hinted that Optimus could eventually be priced around $20,000, a fraction of what traditional humanoid robotic systems cost. If the robot can execute over 5,000 tasks and generate value, estimated at $5,000 per month in labor substitution or service creation. The return on investment is extraordinary. Consider an elderly care facility. By the end of the first three days, Optimus units can already assist patients in walking exercises, deliver meals, and provide reminders for medication schedules. Such tasks, when performed by human staff, represent thousands of dollars of monthly wages. By augmenting human caregivers, rather than replacing them, Optimus not only reduces costs, but also raises the standard of attention each patient receives. In household contexts, the math is similar. An Optimus that can clean, cook, and handle errands within three days of delivery saves. Families dozens of hours per week equivalent to hiring multiple part-time assistants. Critics may argue that these numbers are overly optimistic or that human unpredictability cannot be compressed into three days of adaptation. Yet, Tesla's internal testing aligns with empirical demonstrations. Optimus Gen 3.5 was shown to identify novel objects within seconds, learn a previously unseen kitchen layout in minutes, and carry out multi-step instructions with fewer than five repetitions required for mastery. In controlled trials with 100 households, 93% of users reported that their robot had become competent in handling daily chores within the first three days, with satisfaction scores exceeding 4.7 out of 5. Such consistency suggests that the system is not merely aspirational marketing, but a genuine breakthrough in AI robotics integration. The human element remains central to this narrative. Unlike industrial robots locked behind safety cages, Optimus is designed to operate directly alongside people. Its 24 degrees of freedom hands and safety-first torque sensors allow it to interact without risk of injury, even when sharing narrow spaces with children or pets. In the first three days, owners often observe their robot shadowing them, watching how they pick up objects, open doors, or carry laundry baskets. This phase resembles the learning curve of a toddler imitating adults. Yet unlike human children, Optimus refines the skill at lightning speed, with error margins shrinking exponentially as feedback accumulates. By day three, what began as clumsy mimicry evolves into fluid, efficient performance. For families with elderly members, this adaptability is transformative. A grandmother teaching Optimus how she prefers her tea prepared on day one will find that by day three, the robot delivers the cup with precisely the right sugar balance at exactly the right time of day. From a technological standpoint, what makes Optimus different is its reliance on both embodied intelligence and distributed cognition. Earlier humanoids, including Tesla's own Gen 2.0, emphasized mechanical stability and narrow AI modules. Optimus version 3.5 fuses large-scale foundation models with physical embodiment. Each Optimus carries a local 2.3 kilowatt-hour battery, enabling over eight hours of continuous operation, and a high-bandwidth 12-megapixel vision system with latency under 8 milliseconds. This hardware ensures the robot perceives and reacts almost as quickly as a human. Combined with the Dojo pipeline, the system enters a feedback loop where perception and action constantly refine one another. In effect, every Optimus becomes a living node in a planetary-scale learning organism. The implications ripple far beyond individual households. Within logistics warehouses, Gen 3.5 robots can learn site-specific workflows in under three days, reducing downtime and integration costs dramatically. In hospitals, new units can adapt to the protocols of each ward within the same time frame, assisting nurses without lengthy reprogramming. Even in construction, Optimus has been observed learning to carry specialized tools or assemble modular parts after mere days of exposure. If industrial productivity has historically been bottlenecked by the time it takes to train machines for each unique environment, then Optimus represents a rupture in that pattern. Three days is no longer an onboarding period. It is the threshold at which robots cross from strangers to contributors. There are, of course, broader philosophical questions.
If a machine can watch, learn, and integrate into human spaces in such short order, what does that imply about the boundary between programmed tool and adaptive partner? Elon Musk has long suggested that Optimus is not merely a product, but a step toward a new category of life form, artificial yet embodied, adaptive yet safe. This reciprocal relationship blurs the line between automation and companionship. Ultimately, what makes Tesla Optimus Gen 3.5 revolutionary is not just its technical specifications or even its price point. It's the way it collapses the timescale of adaptation. As the adoption of Optimus accelerates, the first three days may well become the most exciting part of ownership. They represent the moment when cutting-edge AI meets the intimate details of human life. When the abstract power of Dojo becomes embodied in a machine that can brew your morning coffee, help your grandfather walk, and organize your home office, all within 72 hours of arrival. For the first time in robotics history, learning and living converge at the pace of days, not years. And that, more than anything else, is the update that changes everything. So, what is the secret behind the power tech that Tesla has never revealed? Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. At the foundation of Optimus is its advanced battery system, a cornerstone of Tesla's expertise as a battery technology leader. Optimus relies on lithium-ion battery packs constructed from Tesla's proprietary 4680 cells, the same cutting-edge technology powering the Model Y and Cybertruck. Each Optimus unit integrates a battery pack with a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt-hours, delivering an energy density of approximately 170 watt-hours per kilogram. While this capacity is modest compared to the 75 kilowatt-hour packs in Tesla's electric vehicles, it is precisely engineered for the energy demands of a humanoid robot. The pack enables Optimus to operate for 8 to 10 hours per charge, with a power draw ranging from 230 to 287 watts depending on task intensity, such as walking, lifting, or complex manipulation. The battery's strategic placement in the torso, weighing roughly 13.5 kilograms, doubles as a counterweight, lowering the robot's center of gravity to enhance balance during bipedal locomotion. This dual-purpose design exemplifies Tesla's approach to integrating energy storage with biomechanical efficiency. The cost of the battery is a critical factor in Optimus's affordability. Tesla's advancements in lithium-ion production have reduced costs to $95 per kilowatt hour, a milestone that shaves millions off production budgets compared to competitors' $300 to $500 per kilowatt hour packs. For Optimus's 2.3 kilowatt hour pack, this translates to a material cost of approximately $218.50 a fraction of the robot's estimated $20,000 total cost. Without Tesla's economies of scale, rival robots would require battery systems costing upwards of $1,150 for similar capacity, inflating their price significantly. The 4,680 cells tabless design further enhances performance, reducing internal resistance by 10% and improving thermal efficiency by 15% allowing peak currents of up to 200 amps without overheating. This ensures that 98% of each joule of energy is efficiently transferred to Optimus's actuators and sensors, enabling smoother motion and extending battery lifespan to over 2,000 charge cycles. Competitors like Boston Dynamics, reliant on custom batteries with energy densities as low as 100 watt-hours per kilogram, cannot match this combination of cost, efficiency, and reliability. Equally vital is Optimus's AI brain, powered by Tesla's full self-driving computer. This chipset, capable of 144 trillion operations per second, is optimized for neural network inference, consuming just 250 watts. Repurposed from Tesla's automotive platform, it enables Optimus to process real-time data from eight cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and six inertial measurement units, achieving 360-degree environmental awareness. The FSD chip's efficiency, performing at 576 trillion operations per second per watt, outpaces competitors like NVIDIA's Jetson Orin, which delivers 200 trillion operations per second at 40 watts. This computational power allows Optimus to execute complex tasks from object recognition to dynamic path planning with a latency of under 10 milliseconds. The training of Optimus's AI relies on Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, which processes 1.3 exaflops of machine learning workloads training vision and control networks 
50% faster than competing systems like NVIDIA Hyundai A100. In 2024 alone, Dojo processed 10 petabytes of data from Tesla's fleet, enabling Optimus to master tasks like grasping objects with 95% success or navigating uneven terrain with a 2% error rate. Through over-the-air updates, each Optimus shares its learned data, contributing to a collective model that improves performance across all units. By 2025, Tesla Project's Optimus will learn new tasks in four to six hours, compared to months for traditional robotics platforms, reducing training costs by an estimated 80% across a fleet of one million units. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.